Legal disclaimer. Do not make this trade. Seriously, don't. This video is for educational purposes only and placed by a professional trader from Maverick Trading. Maverick Trading is sponsoring this trading experiment with a $100,000 trading account. To trade for Maverick Trading, you can submit an application for stock, option trader or currency trader from the link in the video description below. Well, hello and welcome to trade number 69. We are the Flat Earth Trading Society and the biggest conspiracy theory in trading is how much the entry matters and there really is very little discussion about the exit. What we're doing here in this experiment is proving that you can make money with just position management by randomly choosing stocks or forex or bonds or whatever we're choosing and just selling losers and holding winners. Trade number 79, I'm kind of running a little low on ideas, but I thought about the periodic table of elements. I love science. I'm a science nerd. I love everything about this. So I thought, you know what? Let's use this to pick our symbols. Luckily, there's almost everything available online for you already. Luckily, there is a random periodic table element chooser. So let's go to that website and let's let it do its thing. Here we are at the periodic table randomizer. Look, I have not used this before, but I imagine I come over here up and I pick a random element and then I click reveal symbol and that is what it gives us. So what we'll do is we'll choose the first one and we'll see if that's a stock. If that's a stock, then we'll trade it. If it's not, we'll come back to this, we'll pick another one. Eventually we're going to get a stock symbol that is one of the elements. So here we go, here's our first one, pick random event. SC, Scandium. Okay, let's go see if there is a stock with SC as a ticker symbol. So let's put in SC. SC Asset Corporation, let's go to stocks and let's go to USA only. As you can see, there's nothing with just SC. So let's go back to our periodic table randomizer. Let's choose the next one, LU. Now we could do Lululemon, which is L-U-L-U, -L -U, but L-U, oh, there is a stock. I forgot to look at it here. Lufax Holding. Okay, it does trade on the NYSE. My guess is it's not gonna fit our parameters. Remember, we want it to be above $10 and above a million shares of volume a day. Oh, this does two or three million shares a day, but it's only four bucks, so. We are going to go to the next one. Look, if we can't find any, we'll come back to this LU. Let's do three more. If we can't find any, then LU is the one we'll choose. But let's go back to the randomizer. CR, okay, chromium. Is there a CR? CR is the crane company. Now I do know this is a large company and this does plenty of volume. Now, this is a big company, $136 shares. It's, you know, this day was almost a million shares. Look, higher price stocks don't do as much volume because there is more dollar amount. So like a, a $2,000 stock doing a million shares a day is like a $20 stock doing a hundred million shares a day. We're gonna go with this one. This one fits all of our parameters. Everything looks good. This is a, a, a decent company. I shouldn't say decent company. I know very little about the company. But this is a decent stock with decent movement. It's supply and demand. Let's take a look at where we are. The 13 EMA is sloping higher. The current price is 136.39. And our current ATR is down here at $2.86. So this will be the trade. The trade is for Chromium CR Crane Company. We're gonna be long. Let's build the tick sheet. Trade 79 is for chromium. Chromium's a cool element. We could have gotten Einsteinium and that would have been cool, but all right, we're with chromium. So CR Crane Company, we're long 136.39. And our ATR was 286, and that gives us our stop at 130.67. We just need to figure out our position sizing and then make the trade. Now, would it surprise you that I do have a favorite element? I always ask people this when I'm getting to know them, is what's your favorite element? It, it is a question that pretty much nobody has ever been asked before getting to know someone. 
And I really find out who the science nerds are because they, they tell me right away. And then other people say, element? You want to know my favorite element? Look, I'm not saying that we're not going to get along, but it's kind of strike one. My favorite one, boron. All right, let's get on to the trade. Let's go get our account value. Our account value currently is $107,136. Let's go put that in a position sizing calculator, and then we'll come back and make the trade. Our account balance goes here, 107,136. Our risk on all of them has always been 1%. Our entry, 13639. We don't know we're gonna get filled exactly there, but that's where we're going to run the numbers. With our 2x trailing stop, that puts us down at 130.67. We'll make these zeros. This is telling us we're going to be long 187 shares. Let's go make the trade. Let's put in the symbol for chromium. Okay, it's Crane Company, but I will never look at this stock the same way. This will always be chromium from this point on my entire life. Our position size was 187 shares. I'm going to put that limit pretty wide bid ask spread. So we're going to just go to the midpoint right now. I might have to move that up a little bit. Let's put in our trailing stop. Our trail 2x ATR on this one is $5.72. Always make sure it's good tail canceled. Let's hit submit. And look, we're at the midpoint. Oh, we did get filled. Great. I thought, oh wait, we only got filled on two shares. I probably have already told this story before, but the worst fill I ever got was I was going for a thousand shares. I got filled with four shares, four. And I'm like, who is out there trading four shares? I never got the price I wanted on the rest of it. And I had to turn around and sell four shares. Uh, I ended up spending, this is back like in the nineties. I ended up spending like $40 in commissions just for that order. And it was, it was not cool, not cool. So four shares. So we got two shares here. We're going to have to probably move this up. We were at the midpoint. I'm going to move it up a little bit to 136.48. We're just giving the market makers a little reason to come and get us filled here. All right, we're out there at 136.48, not getting filled. I'm going to move that order up. Look, eventually we are going to find where the market is. Remember, in this, I don't really care where I get filled because remember, that's not what we're going for. We're not going for that at all. Uh, we don't care about entries. We're just going to get in here. I'm just going to keep moving this price up. Eventually, we will find where the market is. Ooh, we got filled on another 50. We'll have to chase this in quite a bit. All right, and we got our final fill and the average of all those orders averages up to 136.634. We follow rounding rules, so 136.63 is what's going to go into the books. We got our fill at 136.63, so these are the new numbers here. We've already got our initial stop in there. It's in there, 2x ATR. It's never going to go below that point unless there's a gap. But as long as there's no gap, that 130.97 is the lowest we are going to have on the stock before it gets sold automatically. What happens when it goes our way? Well, we've got some rules in place. When it gets to that first target, we're going to move to one and a half ATR. If it gets to that four ATR profit, we're going to move it up to one ATR trailing stop. So just snugging up the stop as we get more and more profit. After that, what do we do? We don't do anything. We sit there and watch, or you don't watch. Let it all take place. Look, you have no control at this point on. Just sit back and enjoy. Goodbye, everyone. Mm -hmm.